All right, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, we still have a few people trickling in, but just wanna go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, gonna talk about Front Chat, how it simplifies workflows for teams, um, as well as give you an overview of some key features um, and workflows for managing uh, real-time chat in Front. And finally, how you can get Front Chat for your team, uh, working with our customer success team here, and what pricing would look like on your account. Uh, so who are we? I'm Sarah Spangenberg. I'm a product marketing manager here at Front. Uh, you've probably received emails from me in the past if you are an existing customer talking about our new features and how you can get more uh, value out of Front. My goal here is to kind of educate you on what's new and um, how to make the most of it with your team. All right. Hey, everyone. My name is Anderson. Uh, you've probably heard from me if you've joined any of our other webinars as well. Um, I am part of our customer success team here and I'm working with a lot of customers in the past week launching live chat on their website. So excited to give you a little bit more of our learnings and uh, walking you guys through our demo today. Great. Um, so as Anderson mentioned, he will be giving a live demo later um, in our webinar, but want to first start off with just a little bit of context for where uh, Front Chat came from. Um, for us, we we're hearing from our customers that you want to be able to manage live chat in front. Um, and we think that this is a reflection of larger trends in the industry. I'm gonna run through a few kind of key uh, statistics that we found um, that according to a 2016 report, 51% of consumers believe a business should be available 24 seven. 24 seven might be difficult for a lot of businesses, certainly us here since we are all um, in San Francisco, but depending on where your team is located, it might be something that's possible for you. But I think this is just a really important statistic to keep in mind of what customers' expectations are today. Um, secondly, there's a, a strong preference for live chat because of the immediacy of this channel. Um, instead of needing to wait for an email to get back to you, a phone call to be returned, um, they can just type in and get those answers question or those questions answered rather in real time. Again, just speaking to the immediacy of uh, what consumers' expectations are. Um, finally, uh, because of both of these things, because live chat is the best way to meet that expectation, 92% of consumers actually report being satisfied with their experience on live chat. So when they report in or write in uh, with a sales question, a support question, uh, those kinds of follow-up surveys of how happy were you with this uh, response or with this experience um, shows a kind of record high of satisfaction over live chat compared to other channels. Um, and of course, you know, uh, these other channels are something that we think a lot about here in front. Um, you know, group email is where we started with shared inboxes for managing uh, Google groups, Outlook distribution lists, or even your personal email um, before kind of expanding out into other popular channels that are more, a little bit more up and coming like social media, direct support over Twitter, or Facebook Messenger, as well as SMS through Twilio or um, phone call management uh, with some of our partners like TalkDesk or AirCall. Um, and of course, over time, we built out support for real-time messaging as well with two of our partners, Smooch and Intercom. Um, but even with these channels, which are working great and, and very popular amongst our user base, we still kept hearing feedback around how can I manage live chat in front? You know, maybe I don't want to use a partner and want to go directly through you guys. How can we make that possible? Um, so that caused us over the last year or so to do a lot of thinking about what that real time experience looks like in front today and how we can make it better for our customers. And so that really is the genesis of Front Chat, is kind of three main feedback themes that we've been hearing from customers, not only over the last year, but really since um, Front started. Number one, um, that they don't want to necessarily have to manage multiple services just to have live chat. Um, we do have these integrations um, and, of course, always open to integrations with other partners, but there's still a management piece of setting up users, setting up tags, workflows to connect these tools together um, that causes people to continually ask us, you know, can I just you know, set up a native live chat with friends? Secondly, um, you know, we are uh, sensitive to our customers' budget. We want to make sure that we're delivering as much value as we can. And so it does put us in a hard spot to need to recommend um, an additional tool and kind of an additional price point um, just to, to offer live chat. Um, so thinking about that for our team, uh, pricing is something that we put a lot of work and consideration into. And we'll talk a little bit about that later in the webinar. 
Uh, finally, for a lot of our customers, maybe small businesses or customers that are in the midst of kind of a digital transformation for their business and adopting new technologies they've never used before, uh, we wanted to create a solution that would be really simple for them to implement, uh, not something they're going to need to train their team um, completely on separately, but basically migrating all of the workflows and work that they've done in front already just to a new channel. Um, so those are kind of the three main feedback themes that went into the development of live chat that drove us to three principles for our solution. Uh, the first, as I mentioned, is that it should be simple. It should be um, a solution that you can manage alongside the rest of your front channels so that you're not managing multiple sets of users, tags, rules, workflows um, across multiple apps. Everything is centralized in front. Secondly, for the user experience um, of the kind of agents on your team, uh, it should be unified. It should be seamless to switch between chat and other messages so that you're not needing to develop chat coverage schedules or special kind of chat duty workflows. Uh, when a live chat arrives in front, it's easy to get a notification for that and kind of switch out of email or SMS or whatever else you might be doing and answer that question in real time. And finally, it should be collaborative. Um, a big shortcoming of a lot of chat solutions today is that with the way their pricing is designed, you know, you're not necessarily going to get licenses um, to log into chat for people on your technical team, people on your finance team, um, people that your customer facing teams like sales and support are interacting with to help get solutions and answers for their customers and are having to turn to email or Slack or tracking them down in the hallway to get those questions that they need. Um, with Front Chat, we wanted to make it so that uh, everyone on your front team would have access to these conversations um, at no cost. Um, again, we'll talk about pricing a little bit later, but we wanted to make it really easy for your customer facing teams to work with the rest of their organization uh, like they do on any other front message through comments. Um, so with that context in mind, I want to run through a kind of quick overview of Front Chat and some of the key features. Um, Anderson will be diving into these a bit more in his demo, um, but I'll give you kind of a quick highlight reel of uh, the key features and workflows for Front Chat. Um, so at a high level, uh, Front Chat is instant message sync between your website and Front. When you load uh, this chat application here on your page, and we'll talk a little bit about that in the demo, how um, kind of the workflow and, and how simple that is. Um, as soon as that's up and running, when your website visitors come to your site, they can send you a quick message. It shows up in Front like any other message you might receive um, on our other kind of quick support channels like Twitter or SMS. Um, and then messages back and forth between your team in front and your website visitors sync instantly. So when we think about a front chat and kind of the benefits that we've seen in our uh, beta customers so far, as well as for our own team, since we're using this ourselves, uh, we see faster response times. Because you're not switching tools, um, as well as being able to kind of seamlessly change channels, um, we've seen a lot faster response times than what you might have to do if you're managing chat separately in a completely separate app. Um, secondly, we built in some features that make it uh, seamless to capture leads off your website. We'll look at those in a, in a few minutes, um, but want to make sure that if you are kind of using Front Chat um, and have it loaded on your site, that you're capturing as much value as you can, as well as delivering that great experience. Um, and finally, uh, the, the benefits of centralized workflow when it comes to analytics or reporting um, or even just issue tracking. When you think about something like a tag, um, if you have tag for urgent bugs, however you define urgent, um, rather than needing to track that tag across multiple tools, you can just look at a report for urgent bugs and chat will be included in that automatically. So I want to give you a quick look at what this looks like. Um, for those of you who are already front customers, you'll notice this should look really familiar. Um, and that's by design. Again, thinking about that um, kind of product tenant of simplicity, we want to make it make front chat so that there's zero ramp up time. If you're already ramped up and used to using front, switching over to front chat should be extremely seamless for you. Um, so you'll see here on this left hand side, a conversation list like you would have with email or SMS or any of your other channels, that is a real-time feed of conversations coming in from your website. Uh, once they've been assigned, they'll move to this open tab um, where you can see kind of all of the open chats that your team is managing at that time. 
Um, you'll see at the top, this message here is assigned to Nate, who's one of our AEs. Um, again, the same workflows that you use for your other channels in front can apply to chat as well. Um, so not only will messages be assigned to the rep who responds automatically, but you can also use rules based on keywords or other triggers, times of day, um, to route uh, messages to the right you know, sales or support reps on your team. Um, finally, as well, context from past conversations. Um, you'll see here, and we'll look at how this happens, but you'll see here that this user has submitted their email address. When you do get an email address in front, that enables you um, to match that contact with the contact in front automatically. Front looks up the email, and if it finds a matching contact, you'll be able to see all of their past conversations on other channels um, here in this fourth panel. That applies to integrations as well, which we'll look at in a little bit. Um, and again, you know, want to make this super collaborative. The same uh, teamwork experience that you get through comments on other channels uh, makes it really easy for your sales and support team to get help in real time um, from anyone else on your team in front. And when you think about how you want to set up front chat for your team, um, again, similar to other channels, you have the option to either have a dedicated website visitors or live chat inbox. That's what we use here at front. Um, or you can integrate live chat into a folder with an email channel, um, maybe have a quick reply folder for SMS and Twitter and live chat. It's really up to you where this lives in the app. Um, again, with kind of building a solution that's super flexible and, and customizable for your team. Um, and again, with uh, being able to tie the, the chat in with other contacts, I think that's a really unique benefit of Front's multi-channel uh, nature, that that kind of connection with other channels is super seamless. Um, so let's take a look at how that actually happens. Uh, you'll see here in the left, this is a, a bit of a sped up GIF, but um, if you go to our website as well, you're happy, you can definitely demo this out. Um, but you'll see that after somebody writes in, here it's me just taking a kind of demo screenshot, um, that a pop-up will come up at the bottom that says notify me, and um, the visitor can then enter their email address, and that's actually how we capture those emails. Once you have that matching, uh, that email address, it can either create a new contact for you or match it to these other contact details, Salesforce, uh, whatever CRM you might be using automatically. Another benefit of managing all of your channels in one platform is a really seamless transition from chat to email. Um, rather than kind of that, that wonky experience that we probably all experienced of going from a live chat or maybe a retailer's website, no one gets back to you, you kind of leave and then you get this weirdly formatted ticket later, maybe two days later. Um, and the kind of transition from live chat to you know, no one was there to respond or they couldn't get back to you before you decided to leave. That transition can be really awkward and that's something that we put a lot of thought into. So just wanna look at um, how that works. Basically, uh, this is a toggleable setting in your settings, which we'll look at when Anderson does his demo. But if you do turn this flow on, uh, Front will automatically send an email after five minutes of inactivity. Uh, so here, uh, Allison Jackson is actually a demo account that I have. So this is me kind of writing in as well as responding to myself. Um, but here, Allison's writing in about a quick question about SMS. She gives us our, her email. I write back and said, hey, Allison, how can I help? Um, unfortunately, Allison uh, decided she had to go and left the website before uh, getting back to me. Uh, so here we have my message kind of hanging out to her. Because we have that email address, once you choose in your settings um, which email inbox in front you'd like to send this email from and use to manage for replies, uh, for us, we use team at frontapp.com, which is kind of the easiest way to get in touch with us. Um, you'll see here, this is Allison's Gmail account, which I, of course, have access to as it's a test account, um, that after five minutes of that message being sent, she receives this email that looks very personal, it just has the text of my message from Sarah at front, and she can respond back to me. And that uh, dialogue is completely seamless in front. Um, so rather than kind of trying to tie two tools together of a chat tool and your help desk, um, all of that is managed in one place and makes that follow up and transition uh, really smooth um, and, and still feeling very personal. You know, Allison might even think that I, I kind of triggered this email myself. 
Um, so talking again about delivering this great experience, we of course want to make sure that uh, you can kind of customize the chat application on your site to suit your needs. Um, so here's an example, Better Mortgage, um, who's one of our customers, uh, kind of gave us uh, the go ahead to use a mock-up of their page. You can see here that they've chosen um, to upload their uh, logo here in the header. Um, that's something, again, you can do in your front settings, as well as customizing um, both the header and what the chat message will look like with their uh, brand color. We do have some preset colors in front, um, as well as uh, so the ability to add a custom hex code if you do have a, a more custom color. Um, here, it's a, a little grainy um, here in this slide, but you can see their welcome message. Um, this is, again, something that you can set automatically in your front settings, and we'll look at a little bit later in Anderson's demo. And um, if you do have, you know, we kind of talked about 24-7 support. Uh, we know that that's not a reality for many businesses today, or certainly if you're just getting started with live chat. Um, so you do have the ability in your front settings to choose offline hours, um, basically setting your business hours for when your team will not be available to respond um, to hide the chat application completely from your site. Um, if you do want to allow the chat widget uh, to be shown 24-7, um, that's completely fine too. And you can actually kind of set expectations uh, on your response time for specific hours of the day using rules. Um, so we'll look at, at a few examples of that a little bit later as well. I uh, just want to look at a couple uh, customer examples um, from customers who've been participating in our private beta. Here we have Milano, which is an office furniture re retailer, as you can see, some great looking office chairs. Um, you can see here they've uploaded their um, M logo. They've actually decided just to keep this to one line um, rather than having that kind of company name and greeting um, in the header. So again, every field here, we'll look at what this looks like in the app, but every field here is customizable. Um, on the kind of totally opposite end of the spectrum, uh, we have Anchorus, which is a cryptocurrency investing startup. Um, they are kind of just getting started, but are very uh, kind of community based. Um, you know, you may have heard of kind of the Bitcoin community. It's something where there's a ton of customer and kind of community engagement. They're actually running a, a contribution campaign right now. Um, so live chat is really critical to them. They've decided actually not to upload their logo, but have this, again, kind of two line header. Um, so again, just reinforcing all of this is completely customizable for what you'd like to see on your page and kind of the, the feel that you'd like to create with chat. Um, and want to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this. Uh, we Are Wildness um, here is a kind of wilderness education or wilderness courses um, company that's been participating in our beta. You can see here, these are three different pages on their site. Uh, you can see that this widget is persistent across all of their pages. Uh, you have the, the option to load the widget on as many or as few pages on your website if you'd as you'd like, um, and that conversation will be persistent across every page. So if somebody lands on your homepage, starts to chat with you, they move to your pricing page, um, you, that conversation will continue on rather than being fragmented or disjointed. Um, if you do have three separate brands or three separate websites you'd like to manage, um, here is a completely fictionalized example. Just want to call out that Gap is not a customer of ours, but was a great example of um, three brands under the Gap umbrella. We have Old Navy, Athleta, and Gap. Um, you can see here in the lower right corner that each one has a separate uh, colored widget. That kind of indicates that these are three separate channels in front. Um, so you can set up an inbox um, for you know, the Gap, set up an inbox for Athleta, set up an inbox for Old Navy, and the chats from each website will flow in separately. You can use separate rules, um, have different people on your team having access to di different inboxes uh, for complete separation, but still kind of multi-brand management in one place. Um, again, kind of talking about uh, delivering a really personalized experience, just want to talk a little bit about what we support from a UI perspective. Uh, we do have image um, and GIF previews, so we'll look at that um, in an example when we have a kind of dialogue back and forth between Anderson and I during the demo. Um, we do support links, so if you're sending a link to you know, your community documentation or another page on your site or somewhere where they can learn more information, as well as maybe um, a Google Doc link or a Dropbox attachment link um, to a rate quote or a proposed itinerary, um, feel free to share those as well, and the visitor will be able to click on them. Um, finally, you know, uh, emojis are something that we 
use a lot here at Front uh, in our emails, you may have noticed. Um, so we do support those as well. Um, if that's something that's a good fit for your business. If it's not, feel free not to use it. Totally optional um, on uh, kind of on your end in Front. Um, you know, something that, again, that we've given a lot of thought to is what the experience for chat is like in front. We're aware that we're bringing this very real-time based technology into something that uh, was not really built for real time, your inbox. Um, you know, maybe uh, when you think of your email inbox, speed is not necessarily the first thing that comes to mind. So we wanted to make sure that we streamlined the chat experience uh, to fit really well uh, within front um, so that when you're managing an email, you have all the tools you need to send a really detailed response. But when you're chatting, you know, it's built for more quick replies. You can press enter to send rather than needing um, to, you know, press a button. You can use shortcuts. We'll look at some of those in the demo, but just wanted to call out that you can see here that this is a really streamlined view compared to what you would see, you know, if you're drafting an email. Um, finally, we, you know, we've mentioned rules a couple times and we'll do a deep dive in rules in the demo, uh, but just want to call out again that you can use uh, chat specific rules. Here we have a rule that's specific for our website visitors inbox or you can set up unified rules across all your channels in front. Again, thinking about how we can simplify those workflows so they're not having to duplicate efforts by setting up rules for everything individually. Um, again, if you are a front customer, this uh, view will look familiar to you. Uh, we do have analytics for chat um, so that you can visualize response time and performance on your team as well as, as, well as at the individual level. Um, you can do uh, topic reporting for tags. So again, thinking of that urgent bugs tag example, um, it's easy to run a report on, on that tag across all of your channels, or you can use chat specific tags like chat dash urgent bugs um, if you want to look at that view um, individually. And finally, um, again, if you do decide to have chat as a part of a folder with your other maybe quick reply channels like SMS or um, Twitter, you can create that inbox together and then do a unified view across all of those quick reply channels. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about pricing and how you can get this for your team before we dive into the demo. Um, pricing is something that we've given a ton of thought to, and we wanted to make sure it was accessible for all of our customers. Uh, so we landed on an add-on fee approach for chat, uh, where if you are on monthly billing with your front account, it will be $14 per user per month. And if you are on an annual plan with front, you'll, it will be an add-on for $11 per user per month. Um, this is something that is completely up to you as to how you allocate this add-on across your team. Um, say you're a you know, startup of 20 people and have maybe five sales and support reps on your team who are going to be largely responsible for managing chat. Um, you can just get the add-on for those five users and every other user on your front account, the other 15 people in your front team, uh, will be able to access that inbox if you grant them access in your front settings, which we'll look at, but we'll be able to access that inbox and read chats, um, comment on them, assign them, kind of help support those sales and support reps uh, completely free. You would not need to get the add-on for them to be able to collaborate with the people who are really responsible for chat. And um, today we're still working on in-app billing. This is our, our first kind of secondary product. Um, so the ability to manage this yourselves will be coming a little bit later this month. For now, um, you can see front chat in your inbox list here when you go into your inbox settings. When you click on that, you'll get a prompt to reach out to us. Um, so after this webinar, if you are interested in um, enabling this on your account, feel free to reach out to our customer success team at success at frontapp.com. Not surprisingly, success at frontapp.com is a shared inbox in our account. So all of our customer success managers or CSMs, as we call them, um, all of our CSMs have access to that inbox and we'll be able to follow up with you about getting you set up uh, with FrontChat. Uh, so that kind of concludes our overview. So just going to quickly kind of switch over to um, looking at the front side and Anderson will kind of take over from here on leading uh, us through a demo. All right. Thanks so much, Sarah. So uh, give me a second to switch gears and we will show you a little bit more about front chat and how it works. So you can see here that this message is from uh, Jeff Lebowski. So Jeff wrote this message to hey, this is Jeff. We actually had a rule trigger that automatically prompted uh, the person 
uh, you know, the person who's on our website, the visitor to actually submit their email address. So now I can actually use all this information that I've collected. And of course, um, though they said, Jeff, we actually got their email address. And because Jeff Lebowski has written to us via email before, we actually have more information about this person. And so I can actually contextualize uh, this further and say, oh, uh, great. Hey, Jeff, uh, great to see you. Um, and then I will, because Jeff's question is, how does the Salesforce integration work? I can actually go into our canned response library and type and look for our chat Salesforce specific canned response. So we've developed some canned responses that are specific to chat. So it can be either less formal or really, I think the idea here is to cut down on the number of uh, the amount of text that you're sending, really getting to the point and being more you know, casual about it because that's sort of the, the nature of chat in general is this more casual type synchronous conversation that you're having between you as the agent and them as a visitor to your website. So again, I'm just gonna click enter to send. I think that's a, also a really good point is um, like Sarah mentioned, we've built specific um, experiences around this channel. Um, Right when you're when you're managing your email addresses, it's more uh, the sort of experience that you expect is you have uh, you know this host of styling and being able to write these paragraphs and format your text and then do send in archives and send. Um, whereas in front, it's easier and sort of much more expected to just get back to your customer as quickly as possible um, and answer their question. And so we have this enter to send button. So it's easy for you to continue on the conversation without this, without being navigated away from it when you do it like a send an archive, for example. Um, cool. So Jeff actually says that uh, he's looked over the information. It's really cool. Would love to have a demo. Um, now, a really cool thing here is one I can, um, just send over my uh, calendar information. I, and you can see here, I actually just po posted all this information without having to go through the canned response library. Now this is because I've hotkeyed the canned response. And so uh, one sort of topic that just kept on coming up over and over again, as I was talking to, um, you know, our beta customers is that front chat lives within the ecosystem of all of our features, right? So when it comes to canned responses, snoozing, tagging, rules, analytics, all of those things apply to this chat inbox as well. So you can definitely leverage um, these features as you continue to build and streamline your processes around chat for your chat team. So I'm going to go ahead and, and send that over. Now, one interesting thing here uh, that can help me contextualize, you know, what I, uh, how to talk to a specific customer is by looking at where they are when they submit a specific uh, chat. So um, <clears throat> if I just go back here to see how does the Salesforce integration work, I can actually click this, uh, the ellipses and actually see, show the um, URL. And I can actually see that Jeff was actually on our Salesforce page when he uh, submitted this chat. And so for me, it's not about pointing him to, uh, not pointing him to this page specifically, but giving him some additional context that he could find on our community page, which is exactly what I did here. Um, so that's already one piece of feedback that we heard in our beta and implemented uh, right away. So this is great. Um, and so great, uh, Jeff has scheduled some time. This is fa fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead here and actually, again, within the ecosystem of fronts, using the collaboration pieces, I'm gonna actually mention Sarah, who's my manager, um, and just tell her, you know, look who it is. Um, Sarah and I know that Jeff is a lead that we've been working on and trying to get in touch with. And here Jeff has actually responded via chat. And so I can get in touch with Sarah and say, hey, this is, you know, look, it's Jeff. And she's gonna be writing a comment to me, letting me know what the next steps I should be doing is. Okay, great. Let's <clears throat> look and update, <clears throat> excuse me, the Salesforce opportunity. So of course I'm opening up our plugin here, uh, which you can see integrates with a bunch of other CRMs um, as well as your own plugins, but I'm going to be looking at Salesforce here. Now it's very awesome. It's very cool that even though this is a chat application, because the user submitted their email, we actually have a piece of information that we can use to ping uh, information from Salesforce with. So here I have Lebowski at front app, which 
for Salesforce allows me to actually pull up this person's contact information. Now, the request that Sarah has is to update the opportunity. So I'm gonna go ahead, go into the opportunity field and update it uh, with a new amount of 3000. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, actually, I ended up creating a new one instead of editing an existing one. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one um, and change it to 1300 instead of 1200 here. Um, and of course, I could have read, written a description that, um, you know, talked with Jeff over chat today and, you know, this is our conversation. So, hey, salesperson, you know, keep uh, keep an eye out and push, you know, our Salesforce integration for this person when you have a conversation. So this is just a quick demonstration of how front chat exists within the larger ecosystem of all of front's features, uh, like I said before, but also connects with our CRM integration. So um, it doesn't just pertain to the information that exists within front, but also extends out into the integration world um, and can help you continue to facilitate any processes you had going on um, without having to jeopardize uh, the sort of switching between multiple tools. Um, so that's really cool. <clears throat> So now we're gonna switch gears a little bit. Um, at this point, we sort of demoed what Front looks like, uh, Front Chat looks like for the agents within Front, but obviously wanna give you a view of what this experience looks like on the visitor side. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch gears here. So I'm gonna to go to frontapp.com. Um, and of course, you can feel free to go to our website as well. Um, when you land at our website, you'd be scrolling around. And of course, that's when our widget appears and welcomes you to the page. So this welcome text, like what Sarah had said, is completely customizable. Um, you can continue to scroll around or engage with this chat, uh, with front chat. So I can click on the bubble, the front chat will expand. And of course here, I'm greeted and I can continue on with any questions that I have. So I'm gonna just uh, replicate a very similar conversation that, um, that Sarah had uh, written. So, hey, this is Jeff, awesome. So I'm gonna just go ahead and close this out and continue to navigate around. Um, oh, cool, 2000 customers, wow got a new message already. So this was the canned response that um, actually got generated. So uh, it prompted me to leave my address in the banner below. So of course, if that is the goal to capture more lead information from your visitors, you can certainly create a canned response coupled with a rule to automatically engage your customers when they write in first. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in lebowski.front at gmail.com, which is, uh, uh, Jeff Lebowski's email address and great I put that in there and I'm going to say uh, let's say I close this out and I go and look at our integrations I've stumbled upon um, let's see what am I looking for uh, in particular I am looking for Salesforce. So I've looked at the Salesforce integration here um, it looks great to me Sarah's written back uh, you know I'm interested in learning more about Salesforce. Oops, misspelled that. Salesforce, can you tell me more? Great, so now I'm just looking through more screenshots, um, just like any customer would. And so this is just really to show you the experience that you can have a sort of, um, an experience for your customer where they're really taking the time to browse the website and because they're waiting for you, right? They're not leaving the website. They're still very much engaged with the content that you've spent time developing on your side, but then also with a specific agent on your, uh, on their side, uh, or sorry, on your side, um, to give them some additional context that they might not be able to get, um, from your website. So this is some really, it's just a really powerful experience that I think a lot of our beta customers who have not had chat before have really found being valuable for their business. Now, great, I've gotten this community article, I've read it, it looks fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, let's schedule a meeting uh, with me and my team. Cool, so I'm just gonna wait for uh, uh, a link from uh, Sarah, so that I can go ahead and schedule that time uh, with her um, for this demo. So great, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and get Salesforce, perfect, thanks for that. Um, yeah, 
Cool. Um, so now that's just a really good experience that really sort of closes out um, all of what we were uh, sort of looking to talk about. So cool, this is the sort of visitor side. And of course you can see here that she also sent a GIF. And so these GIFs, like what Sarah said before, previews, all of this is done within front chat and is visible to the customer. So it's a very good experience, very cool, very fun. It's lighthearted and casual. So that's sort of how we sort of position front chat for uh, at least internally, but also for you, it's up to you what that experience looks like. Now I'm going to sort of transition back over into front and close out this, take you back into front. And here we're going to just go over some quick things touching on rules, analytics, and then settings. And so some of the top, uh, some, some of the, some of the questions that we came uh, uh, that came up really frequently during um, our beta session was how do we automate this, right? Whether whether we have a front chat there on our website 24/7 or if we set office hours, how what is the best way for us to manage customer expectations, right? If you're a small organization, you might not have the resources to staff up 24/7 or just have one person sitting and looking at this live chat window all the time. So um, what happens there is you can have some chat specific. Uh, rules that you've created, things like, all right, when you get an inbound message um, and it's in the chat webinar folder, let's say it's been unreplied to after, you know, one minute or something like that, not one hour, one minute, then let's go ahead and do a couple of things. Let's reply with once a canned response that prompts them to leave their email address within the banner below. So let's do that chat welcome. Great canned response. And then let's go ahead and just notify some other teammates. So if it's not assigned, if that conversation is not assigned to people, let's go ahead and quickly assign that conversation to someone. So, um, so this is just one of the really quick uh, rules that you can create. Now, in just terms of uh, canned responses, tagging, um, all of those things that you're used to trying to capture through automation, those are things that you can do with rules and applies obviously sort of to our chat web uh, widget as well. So that's just a quick run through of rules. Um, of course, if you have any questions about rules or sort of the extent of how rules can uh, play with chat, feel free to send them over to success at frontapp.com and myself or one of our customer success managers will be able to help you out with that. Now, another thing that I wanted to cover is analytics, right? So here we have a preloaded dashboard for our analytics, uh, our analytics inbox. And so here you can see that since we've done the public beta, we've gotten a lot more inquiries via an interest via our uh, chat um, than we had before. So you can see the conversations on the rise uh, in terms of the tags that are being tagged onto these conversations. Um, you can find them here. Now, the cool thing is if you're familiar with front analytics, those analytics also, again, extend to the front inbox. So we can see, um, all right, are we keeping a pretty good reaction time to chat conversations? Um, how many chat conversations are being handled by a specific person? And then of course, having a comparison to the same amount of time previously is also important. And of course, the productivity. So this is a customer experience view, wanting to make sure that you're getting back to customers as quickly as possible. This is where you can find that information. Great. Um, and of course, wanting to spend some time on uh, the front chat settings. I know Sarah's already mentioned a couple times that uh, that it that front chat is uh, customizable. And so this is certainly something that you can do here. Once you create the inbox, go through the inbox, add a team inbox and add the front chat um, inbox. Here are all the settings that you'll be able to, to, to see and edit. You have your offline hours here where you can set your time zone and when they appear, when the widget does or does not appear, the widget color, any secondary color in terms of the text, um, your logo should appear here, the chat widget headings, email capture, so for your leads and capturing that information, as well as what the prompt looks like. Um, here is where you'll be able to set a team inbox, of course, of where the transcript will be generated from and where any subsequent replies will be sent to. Um, your welcome message and, of course, the code snippet. 
It's a very simple implementation. Um, it's four lines of code that you put uh, before the last body tag within your HTML. So that's something that you should certainly um, give it a try. Uh, if it's not so much of a time investment on your side and you can turn around quickly, you'll be able to actually see how all of this um, plays into your uh, existing workflow. Cool, so we have about five minutes left. And so we're gonna open this up for some questions uh, right now. Cool, uh, thanks everyone. And thanks Anderson for a great demo. I'm just gonna hop in on a few questions here. Uh, we do have a few questions um, all related to the same topic about being able to detect a user's email automatically, um, kind of force them to enter their email before they start a chat or otherwise identify logged in users if you're using front chat uh, within the context of a web app where people are logged into accounts. Um, right now, that is not possible in this version. Um, you know, we're at V1 of front chat or, and going to be building out more functionality um, next year. Uh, in Q1, funny to say next year, going into 2018 already. Um, but for logged in user detection, that's kind of a piece of work that we'll be tackling when we're building in-app chat, which is on the roadmap for next year, um, probably the first half, but still working on um, timeline for that. So if you are interested in using uh, front chat within a web app, otherwise need uh, logged in user detection, that's something that should be coming next year, as well as when we release in-app chat um, for loading front chat within mobile apps. Um, another question about sh uh, installing front chat on Shopify pages or plans for a Shopify app. Um, that's not something that we have today in terms of the one click installation um, uh, through the Shopify app store. Again, something that's on the roadmap for us and hopefully we'll be um, able to do in the first half of next year. In the meantime, uh, we believe we have a couple customers testing it out right now. Um, we believe that you're able to add custom HTML actually to your Shopify theme. Um, so you could use that to load this code snippet here um, into uh, that theme directly uh, using the Shopify add custom HTML workflow. Um, so we are testing this out with a few customers right now. And if that is something that you're interested in, I'm happy to connect you with our success team uh, for them to kind of help you help walk through that. Um, we had a question about um, anchoring links, and I just want to make sure I'm understanding that correctly. Um, if you're talking about kind of sending a link to a specific point on that website where the link is going to, we don't have any specific functionality for creating that um, in front, but if, if uh, there is an anchor already on the page, it's marked with a pound sign, pound sign or I guess a hashtag we would call it these days, but if you do have a URL that has that hash mark in it, um, that will be supported uh, when they click uh, through that link. Um, have a question here. Uh, do you want to take this one? All right, one? sure. So can we set up a welcome message that automatically pops up on a page after X amount of seconds? Right, so right now, um, the welcome message uh, in terms of the timing is not yet something that you can customize, but um, we are definitely you know, taking into account a lot of the feedback that we've been getting, and this is something that we've certainly heard as well. So um, it's already been submitted as a feedback request. We're going into 2018 with a very strong roadmap of uh, mm -hmm. a lot of feedback from all of you about you know, not just chat, but also the, you know, all of these other features that exist within front. So something that we'll certainly be taking into account as well. Um, okay, so uh, we have here another question about the name of the chat agent. Can it be different than the account user? So um, the chat name is actually being pulled from your, uh, your name inside of front, inside of your front profile. So uh, if I go to my profile here, it says Anderson, you so that's my name that will show up within chat if you don't want if you want your you know your user to have a different name you can certainly tell them to update their profile but this is where we're pulling that information from um, and yeah all of the feature requests that we're getting here and also the questions that you guys are sending um, we're not going to have all of the time actually we're actually already at the very end of uh, our question and answer section here so um, please feel free to submit them to success at front app. Um, we will be passing all these questions over to our product team um, as well. So you'll certainly hear back from us across that. And of course, um, can you have multiple business hours across different brands, if you have international brands? So that sort of comes into play with teams as well. Um, it's a little bit more than what we're currently 
you know, going to be talking about here, but please send that over to success at front app and uh, we will be more than happy to assist there as well. Um, so that concludes our chat webinar. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Um, it's great to see all of your engagement and uh, we look forward to working with every single one of you uh, moving forward. Awesome. Thanks everyone. And feel free to reach out to us at success at. Bye.